All right. Okay. Greg Gibson, President and CEO, Kerr Mines. Uh, Greg, tell us a little bit about the uh, the change that's been occurring at your company. It's uh, been quite something since about the uh, middle of December. It, we're, it's a growth story. Um, we're looking to acquire assets that have had capital spent, capital sunk. We're looking for brownfields exploration and I think there's a shift, a shift in the industry when it does come to exploration where exploration dollars are much harder to come by. So this basically allows us to combine exploration and production without the high cost of acquisition. Tell me a little bit about the decision to uh, take on the Kerr Mines name. What's, what's behind that? Well, Kerr Addison Mines was probably the most uh, prolific gold producer in the country for many years. And, you know, over those years of production, there, was, there wasn't a whole lot of exploration ever done. After it had closed, um, there was a whole, grew, a whole lot of property issues that, that were involved and ownership issues. So again, there was a period of, of very little exploration. So we wanted to take advantage of 11 million ounces of gold that, that was mined, and that, that would allow us to explore in and around that extracted 11 million. So again, brownfields exploration, and the best place to find a mine is in or around the mine. Right. Now, there's been a couple of developments in the last month or so. Can you just briefly explain to us what uh, Kerr has uh, accomplished during that okay, time? Okay, well, we, we started off, of course, uh, by taking over management of Armistice Resources, uh, changed the name to Kerr to take advantage of the Kerr mine. Mm -hmm. We acquired Bear Lake Resources, which is contiguous uh, to the west of us. And um, we moved into American Bonanza, which has the Copperstone Mine in Arizona, which allows us near-term production. And we did this all for a relatively cheap price. Okay. Now, an um, um, even more recent uh, development is uh, your uh, introduction, or your, uh, I guess I'll use the term foray, or your venture into uh, the neighboring province of Quebec. Can you tell us a little bit about that? If sure. You're um, Goldfield, sorry, uh, Bear Lake had an agreement with Goldfields, uh, you know, who were helping them explore and became JV partners. Uh, Goldfields also had properties on, on the Quebec side across the border from us, and we had the opportunity to acquire 48 claims to the east, bringing us, you know, 11 kilometers into Quebec. So I would have to say we probably have the largest piece of unexplored ground along the Cadillac Larder Lake break with that acquisition. Good stuff. And uh, by way of concluding, uh, you've started off uh, uh, 2014 with quite a bit of um, uh, acquisitions. Uh, what's in store for the rest of the year and, uh, and beyond for uh, Kerr Mines? Well, I, I think it's going to be controlled growth. It's going to be taking advantage of distressed assets. Um, and that will all, of course, be governed by any increase in gold price because as gold goes up, deals will be much, much more sought after by others. So we want to take advantage of as much as we can right now. Great. Thank you very much, uh, Greg Gibson, the uh, CEO of Kermines. That's right. Thank and I uh, hope to hear a lot more from you in the near future. Thank you so much. You're welcome.